Sydney. It's Saturday and I just got finished with a STEAM Academy, Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So it was a three hour academy by Zoom Online. It was very well organized. There was an hour opening session and then they had a PDF that was interactive and live so you could touch the link and decide which session you wanted to go through. My sessions were K through five, so I got two choices for each session time. And then, you know, we signed in to get credit for attending, but it helped me to refresh a little bit because honest to goodness, I'm burnt out on technology. But it showed how I can integrate science, technology, engineering, art, and math into my online curriculum. But more importantly for me is having the online component but taking it offline so that my students can maybe do some hands-on things. Science experiments with vinegar, baking soda, and just, you know, eggs, and just different things of that nature. If they don't have those materials, I can do it. I can video myself and then watch it and then I can proceed with the science lesson. They also showed us how to integrate those science lessons and those other standards for STEAM in the curriculum we're already teaching as far as language arts and math, how they can go with science and history and social studies. One thing I liked was they had uh, virtual field trips because I know my kids love going on field trips. So maybe we'll take a couple of virtual field trips. And then they also had some art history lessons. You just Google them online and then they go through you know, lines and symmetry and explaining color and usage of and all those things. So I will link some of those websites um, down in the bottom in the description. So you can just click on them and check them out. But another thing is coding. So our students really need to learn to do coding and they have programs and there's some basic things they can learn to do. And engineering, building, they practice building. Simple things that the high school teacher was explaining. Many students come to her for arts and drafting. They don't know how to use a ruler to draw a straight line or to measure. So even working on those basic activities, using a ruler and measuring. How many classes don't have rulers for every student? When do they get a chance to use a ruler? Um, teaching them how to draw block letters seems very simple, but it's necessary for arts. You can have a viable career in arts. You can have culinary arts, right? Advertisements, graphic design, um, designing golf courses. That's an that's a actual job, designing golf courses. So think about it. There's so many things your students can do, your children can do, just open their mind because they're not aware of them. Like when I speak to my students, I'm like, that's a real job. Mrs. Coffee, Amar, is that a real job? I'm sorry, I still have my computer glasses on again because we looked at the screen for three hours. Is that a real job, Mrs. Coffee? Yes, it's a real job. Let me show you. So then I have to go online and show them. Oh, that's a real job. Can you get paid good money for that? Can you get paid real good money for that? Yes. And just even technology and medical, the medical field, you know, learning nanotechnology because microsurgeries and surgeries that are not as invasive where they cut you right open now, you need to learn those technologies. How do you use the technology to map out the human body so the surgeon can be more precise in his cutting, right? In his surgery because he doesn't want to get rid of things that are important we need to keep in there. So there's so many aspects for them to understand. Designing buildings, staging homes for selling and real estate. That's, that's space, you need to know space and color to do that. Uh, graphic design with logos, team logos. So just, you need that in with them to explain to them uh, by using something they're interested in and something they like to get their mind thinking in that mode. So I'm inspired to try and inspire my students. There's Here's some more things you could do. Here's some more things you can learn how to do. Maybe you can use this for a career as an artist or as a teacher to teach other people how to do it once you master it. Because technology is not going to go away. It's a very big part of their life. Pencil and paper, they don't really wanna do pencil and paper. My students do more pencil and paper but I have to rethink that because the times have changed. I don't want them to get sick. So I have to 
rethink how I teach them the things they're gonna actually physically touch. How can I teach them this on the computer? Can they do it at home and video it and take a picture and show it to me? Can they design and draft this diorama online for animals and send me a picture of it or a video explaining it? Can they do a little video where they programmed the characters and they answer the questions? So we have to start thinking out of the box as educators. It's difficult. It's not easy because many of us are older and we don't have to learn this technology. We don't know how to use half of it, but you can. You can always YouTube it. You can Google it. You can. Just start small. Start a little at a time. Learn with your students. You don't even need a degree. Learn with your students, parents, if you're doing homeschooling. You can do this, okay? We're learning together. Happy Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. God bless you.